morning everyone and happy Sunday. Uh, we're starting off the second week of this weekly vlog since we've, you know, got back in the swing of things and I've working a little bit and we're having breakfast, we're having hash and eggs and I'll show you in just a second and then we're going to watch Narcos or maybe an episode of The Mandalorian um, until I have to leave. But here's our breakfast and it looks so good and I got my buzz cup, some coffee. Good afternoon everyone and happy Monday. I just got out of work. I got changed. Um, I'm meeting Amanda and Hannah and Zach up here in Pigeon Forge. Um, and I'm going to just show you the shirt I have on today. And I'm going to give you a moment just to see if you can kind of guess what we're doing. And this is a little bit harder. Um, it's a game that we're doing, not, not like a uh, museum or history. So, again, we're going to go do some kind of game, and I'll tell you in a little bit. But another uh, little shot, there you go, of my share so you can try to guess what it may be. Um, but I'm sitting in the Burger King par parking lot because I'm waiting for them to get here. So we're going to have that, and then um, 6.30. It's 5.43 right now, and 6.30 is when the game um, starts. Um, so, yeah, take your guesses now. Um, and we'll tell you in just a minute what we're going to be doing. Alright, if you guys guessed that we were doing an escape game, you are correct. We're going to do a Mission to Mars escape game. Captain, we don't have much time, so I'll keep this brief. You've successfully landed on the surface of Mars. However, we're going to have to cut your exploratory mission short. Our engineers have found considerable damage to your suit. You already found a clue. Watch, it's the numbers three. Four, two, four, which is probably a code to unlock okay. this or the door. Okay. Unlocked it. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so lucky for us, we've at least been to Mars when we flew from Epcot. So Zach and I are really just more fascinated with the lights. We're just and playing with this. We found our own mini game in the escape game. <laughs> Zach did it. She I'm said so it couldn't be done. I did it. High five. Woo. <laughs> it's oxygen. Get your last little bit before we're oxygen deprived. <laughs> we need the gloves, Zach. Bring your gloves back. Oh yeah, you gloves. We got a whole command center in here. This is cool. I like this one. Bro, me and you. What would they do? What would they do without us right now? <laughs> oh, that is important. Five, five, uh, four, eight. Yay! Yay! Wait, that's it in here? Good job. All right. No, we'll do more stuff in here, but no, no, I mean, do we not need to do the gloves again? <laughs> Take the gloves with us. I'm really set on the gloves. I'm excited. I did something. You did good. Ryan, keep up, please. Oh, there's more in here. You guys, we need these. Three for all, three for all. That's the robot. Wait, there's this too. It's the robot. Wow. Welcome to Mars, guys. Welcome to Mars. Things keep opening? Open? Yeah, already, already, yeah, I did that and I put the thing in there. This is going to be yeah. Yeah. Those, yeah. those are already done. Yeah. Right. Connect. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I'm going to try to fix the communication. <laughs> Incoming message. Please report to the command deck. We're here, Jess. Congratulations, <laughs> your communication has been restored. Now you need to restore power and program in your launch details. To activate your communication controls, enter code 3142 into your communication tablet. Oh, finally, you may want to use auxiliary power on the exterior of the ship to jumpstart the crash landed right now. If we climb in, that's not called climbing in. Okay. Right At the bottom. Plug it in. Plug it in. <laughs> now open it. Oh, there we go. Sounds like a microwave. Oh, Wait, Zach, popcorn's done. No, Zach, go, Zach, go, Zach. Go, Zach. What do they say? Wow. What do they say on the inside? What's it say? All right. Zach, can you hear me? Do something like it. Well, grab them. You turkey. Oh, that goes. That goes over here. Zach, what does it say on the inside, though? That is that the order? Is that the order those go in? Do those have symbols? There's a code in here too. 
Nope. Nothing? Nope. Maybe put them on in that order? Maybe put them on in that order. Cool. We gotta go the opposite way. What's in there? Is there an alien? Giant red, red button. button and... And a beer. Keys. Keys. One goes right there with the hand and the other one goes with the hand. Oh. Way to go, Zach! Deactivate it! Deactivate it! We did it! Okay. Did it. Wow, good job, Hannah. It was my husband's fault. <laughs> oh. Okay. Opening solar hatch? What the heck? Oh, oh, there we go. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Everyone watch out. Solar power stored, light intensity, 8792. 8792. 8792. 8792. Power right here, right here, right here. 8792. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! All right. Oh, oh wait, it'll tell you it's CCP. CCP. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, that number, that that weird thing. Hitchum? Ours? Wait, 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 wait oh. do it. Oh, you're no. pushing too hard. You're pushing too hard. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, dang it. There we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there we go. You got it. Gosh, that was miserable. Yeah, <laughs> Hey, now these so are the red, symbols. Blue, blue, green, red, green. green. Girl, you just said blue. <laughs> well, she can't count you this. Red, stuff. blue, blue, green, red, green. Congratulations, team. All systems are fully operational. Your final launch code is 6097. We'll see you soon. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. 6097, Zach. 6097. What was it again? Five. It's five. I think it's five. Try one. Oh my god, Zach. Oh, that's not it. Oh, that's right. Six, zero, nine, seven. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. You're being annoying. Woo! Woo! Yay! We won! decided to do a second one but this one we're going to do without the camera we're going to do it on our own so we'll see you guys once we get out good luck all right we have finished and we must have escaped because we're out here with uh frozen yogurt zach do you want to give us a story on how we escaped the last one well well they spent most of the time actually working and trying to find out how to get out I was just running around with the black pie, just pointing it at things, hoping to find some random clue. And then I walked over to the keypad that said time, and I said, wait a minute. I know what it is. Just trust me, guys. It's 12.45. And I went, <laughs> and it dropped out. <laughs> and I promise you, I had no idea what it was. And I still don't know how I guess that, but I did. And the guy complimented him, I'm outsmarting the game. Yeah, we literally skipped the safe. We were supposed to unlock a safe first, and nope, Zach just doo -doo -doo, guessed a number and it was correct. So what did you guys think of the escape games? Um, I really like the Mars one, that was my favorite. That was a really good one. I just told Zach, I love the Mars one because it was hands on. Yeah. There was something for everybody to do. It was big enough. In the second one, there was not enough room for anybody to do anything. Like, how are you supposed to find clues if you can't move around? But it was good. It was like different. You know, we had to crawl through the tunnel, which was really cool. That was cool. Kind of scary, really cool. Mitchell Mars farted through the whole tunnel, and I <laughs> held my breath, and he gasped out of his <laughs> That's why I wanted to go through first, because I knew Mitch would do that. He's crawling behind me, and I held, I held my breath because I could hear it, and I pulled my breath, and made it go, it's Melvin here, and I had to breathe, because I know he farted. <laughs> Look, that was just part of the game, that wasn't me. We were going through a tunnel in a cave, and... <laughs> 
Ryan was really helpful because he was super tall. Mm -hmm. So I would like hand the flashlight like, Ryan, you see anything up there? Anything? Yeah, I think thankfully Ryan was with us because he found the magnet up there. No. Oh, you found the magnet? Oh, okay. He was looking up there and I felt he found it in the corner. Gotcha. Overall, I I, th I thought it was so much fun. I preferred the mission to Mars because there's more physical things that we got to do, and the second one was more like knowledge and like crunching numbers and stuff, which is fine. But like, it just wasn't there my was a lot of numbers. There were. There was a lot of useless numbers. Too. Yeah, there was a lot of useless numbers, and that's what that was kind of confusing. But and uh, a big old sign that said. If you guess wrong too many times, you lock the safe for five minutes. Well, it's a time thing, so can't really do that. But then, lo and behold, we didn't even need to open the safe. And I believe we finished the last one with 25 minutes left. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, 25 minutes. And the guy at the end said we were on time to even get out, even if we went and skipped the step. But we felt like we were like pushing it at the last minute. But yeah, overall, the escape games. I mean, I, I would. I want to go back. I thought it was great. I'll go back. Now it's time to enjoy some Froyo. We're back home now, and uh, tonight was just so much fun doing the escape games. Both of them were really good. The Mission to Mars was the best one, and um, I wish we could do it again, but we know all the clues, so um, it wouldn't really work out too well. But um, yeah, it was a great night. We got some frozen yogurt, got to hang out with um, Madison and Ryan, and of course Zach and Hannah. Um, so a lot of fun tonight, but we're got, we got to get to bed. We're riding in together. Amanda and I actually get to work in the same location tomorrow, which is going to be really cool. So I get to see her. Um, but yeah, we got to get up there. We got to get up early. So um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Whoop. This bee, this carpenter bee. I have a friend. Likes Amanda. Are you hiding now? Yeah, hi. He's very interested in what Amanda's doing. We're back out here. By the way, it's Tuesday. We're working on the bombs again. <laughs> so how are they looking? Looking good. Yeah, you get all the extra little stuff little off, guys, yeah. and open it up a little bit more. And I'm working on this pile now. And uh, yeah, we have this one to go. And we have some of the smaller ones in the yard, but we're gonna get those later on, probably after Amanda's family gets here. But yeah. <laughs> two of them now. They're just wanting to see what you're doing. They want to be friends. So yeah, we're working on all this. All right, a little bit of an update for our night. Uh, we did some more of those palms. We got the second one done and cut um, and trimmed up. Now, the third one, we started on it, but it got really late and dark. So we came back inside. So hopefully in the next day or so, we're gonna get the third palm like cleaned up. And then we're gonna take uh, most of the little like branches and all that. And some of it we'll use for the fire and some of it we're gonna toss in the back. We have kind of like a uh, like a burn trash pile, but we're not gonna burn it. It's just kind of a, like a tree and, and and you know It basically yeah, it's just like a tree burn pile um, And so hopefully we can get that done the next couple of days, but they're looking really good I think they look great. I'm excited for how they're gonna turn out and uh, then we came inside and we've done some like really quick and massive cleaning and um, it, it, like it was more of the thing was kind of in place. We just needed to wipe down things and dust. We haven't done that in a while. And now Amanda's over here crocheting. Mm -hmm. Nice little blanket. It's looking good actually. Thanks. It's almost done. Well, it's almost as long as you. So yeah, it was supposed to be a baby blanket for my boss, and it turned out to be like a lap blanket. Yeah. Because I got carried away. Yeah. Oh well. But it looks good. Uh, but yeah, we're we're probably going to get to bed really soon and. Um, tomorrow I work later in the day and Amanda works from home so maybe we'll have like a nice breakfast. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Also happy hump day. Uh, we're almost through the week. I'm about to, um, it, well let me just tell you, it's almost 11 o'clock here and I have work at 1 today so Wednesdays and Thursdays are my late days. Everything else of the week um, I am mornings so I my schedule is really great. Uh, even these nighttime shifts I at least get to come home in time to out with Amanda before we have to go to bed. Um, but I'm gonna go out to, uh, I gotta get my suit for Zach and Hannah's wedding. So I gotta do the last fitting for that and everything should be fine. So I should just be able to pick up the suit today. Then I'm gonna head to work and then get back tonight. It's gonna be kinda late. So I don't think there's gonna be much today. Just wanna kinda give you an update of what's going on. Um, and then tomorrow I'll do, I've got a little bit more cleaning to do and then Amanda's family is coming and they'll get here tomorrow afternoon. So I'm really excited for that. Um, but yeah, right now I'm um, a little behind on getting this video edited. It was supposed to be out already today, 
um, but I've just started it mostly because I just haven't had time. We've been doing so much cleaning and so much work, um, just getting the house prepared for um, you know this weekend with Amanda's family come down. Just haven't had the time, and then we've also been doing stuff this week, which has been a lot of fun. But yeah, so uh, I know you guys. This is coming out a week later, so I apologize that this newest weekly vlog, um, the, you know, one we've done, uh, where we haven't done one in a while. Um, sorry it came out late, but, uh, better late than never. Alright, happy s Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. Uh, we didn't film anything yesterday. Amanda's family's coming to town, and now we've got everyone together. We've been grilling out all day. we got Amanda's dad here. He's been cooking for us. And then, um, we've, we've put together a lot of food. We're just, uh, about to all dig in in just a moment. Hey everybody, this is my favorite son-in-law in Tennessee. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> you usually don't say Tennessee. Right, right. <laughs> you always say Tennessee, Mitchell, you're lying. Not always. <laughs> okay, this is my wonderful husband of 33 years today. Yeah, 33 years. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yes. Happy anniversary. Thank you. How's everyone doing up here? I think we're, we're moving on to yeah. No, nothing. Yeah, Hannah's been smiling. That one. Zach's smiling, Amanda's smiling, the mom. Everything good so far? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Do you want No, no, no. Now I need you. She's got a knife. You really want to try it? Alright, so Zach and I here are about to start a fire again. Let's do it. Um, this is leftovers from the last time, the first time and only time we've made a fire. So hopefully this one will turn out a little bit better than our last one because this is not good. All right, okay. looking a little better. Hopefully it'll kind of catch and stay. How do you feel so far about this one? I feel pretty confident. I like it, I like it. Yeah. Seven out of 10. Seven out of 10, we'll see. Blow right at me. Amanda got some color changing fire. Wait, what is that? stuff you put in fires it turns flame color. That's cool. That is cool. Ooga, 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 ooga. Ooh. It's not really showing up that well on the camera, but it's it's really green and blue in person. Here's a little bit of a fire update. Really got it going now. Dad put some more logs on it and it's cooking. Oh my gosh. Alright, most of the gang is left now. How was dinner, everyone? It was delicious. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we're gonna call it for a night. Um, I'm red, as you guys can tell. I got a sunburn while I was outside working in the yard. Um, not working in the yard, but that's where I was assembling the table, and it wasn't a smart idea um, to do it at the end. We got smarter by the end and put it under um, kind of an awning area and worked. But uh, it was such a great night. I have my retainers in, so it's a little bit of a where the lisp is coming from. Randos up here laughing at me. <laughs> um, laughing but, at you, I'm trying to process what happened. Yeah, she just got scared by her mom. Um, but no, it was such a great night. We had everyone over. It was such a great time. The food was amazing. It was very casual. Just tell my mom to jump out of a wall and scare me. <laughs> it is very casual. It's what I do to you every day. I know, but mom didn't. Yeah, that's true. And I trust mom, and now I can't trust mom anymore. <laughs> Actually, yeah, childhood is right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had a great night. We had a fire, and it was fantastic. It was so hot. We had to go and like huge fire, um, but overall, it was just such a great day. It was a busy day at first. We didn't show anything until the evening, but um, yeah, it was just fantastic. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll we'll do vlog a little bit more. Yeah, um, rehearsal dinner. Yeah, we had the rehearsal dinner for uh, Zach and Hannah, and then um, on Sunday, which is the start of the next weekly vlog, will be the wedding. And uh, I don't I don't think we'll have too many clips from that. Really, maybe just kind of us, you know, getting there and afterwards. But yeah, um, I keep thinking it's Saturday, but it's Friday, so we have tomorrow, um, and we have some plans, but not too many besides just the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner. Anyways, it's time to get to bed. We're both extremely exhausted, and um, I'll leave you guys with a good night from Maui. Say good night to everyone. Say good night. He was just sleeping until we came in here and woke him up. Tell him say good night. Don't look him up. That wasn't me. <laughs> say good night. Say good night. <laughs> okay. Kisses. Mwah. Hi everyone and happy Saturday. It's been a busy day for us so far. I want to kind of give you a little bit of a rundown because um, we didn't take the camera out. But we woke up at like 8.30ish this morning. We Amanda made cr crunch wraps for all of us which was so good. Haven't had one in a while. Then we went um, out shopping. We had a couple things we had to get. 
Amanda got her nails done and all that. Then we went and saw my mammal for just a little bit. Came back here to the house and been doing non-stop yard work and everything just looks so good. So I'm going to kind of show you around because a lot of this we did yesterday and the rest of it we finished up today. So first off, we've, uh, well I, I went ahead and mowed the yard again. It was getting really tall so I went ahead and took care of that. But um, we got everything looking good. We got a grill we used last night which was fantastic. And uh, we got some flowers. Oh, some flowers over there in that pot as well. But I think I showed you all last night, all these flowers, but if not, here we go again. So, got those. Those are going to look really nice. Um, our new patio set, which really happy with. Got a little umbrella to keep us even more um, in the you know shadows because it is. If you can see the sun is like right down on top of that table. Got calla lilies. Got a hibiscus plant. I'm so happy to have a hibiscus plant again because we had one in Florida, and um, I unfortunately did not make the move to Tennessee. But we got a new one and it's looking good. And if you guys remember, we are working on the palms. Well, we got them done. Um, there's some stuff I have to touch up, like there's a little bit of this at the bottom that we weren't really getting off well, so we're gonna fix that in a little bit. But our main thing today was just kind of getting it all cleaned up um, and getting all the stuff off the ground, which we did. The second one is looking better, and now the third one. A little bit more to go to cut up here, um, but we at least got a lot of that out from below, and it's looking fantastic. So yeah, a lot of yard work, a lot of things done. Everything's looking better. Yard looks great. And we're having the rehearsal here for Zach and Hannah tonight, so um, it's going to be out here in the grass. So I'm glad we got everything taken care of and done. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on this adventure. We hope you had as much fun watching it as we did making it. Make sure you subscribe here for more fun videos. And don't forget to check out the previous video, which is right here. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and any other social media we have, we'll put the links below for that. Thanks again for watching.